everybody. Yeah. Thank you for all you for being here. I guess we're a little bit early. I must be. Just yeah. about a little bit anyway. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, there's Anvita. Anvita. How are you today, Anvita and Froggy? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. So today's topic is going to be what's in your notion bag, but we'll do that here in just a little bit. And I'm, I got to get that squeaker. Just a minute, Connie. You take over. <laughs> she didn't want to play just a few minutes ago, but now she's decided she found something made a racket. She wanted to make a racket. <laughs> I'm glad you're doing good, Invita. <laughs> yeah, Froggy, we made it. I was running a little bit late. I got to watch in a good scary movie and I forgot all about what I was supposed to be in here doing, I'm telling you. But then that that's not a whole lot, you know, different for me. I can get to watch in a movie and and get distracted pretty easily. I'm easily entertained, we'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Sarah. How are you today? Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Yes, we do. Absolutely. And Vita. Yes, I did. I surely did. I was on, um, um, I, I can't say her name, Aisha's uh, live yesterday. Uh huh. And uh, I won one of her okay. giveaways. I'm not exactly sure what I won, but I won something. And Sharon, Sharon, thank you for coming in. Hello, Sharon. How are you? I'm trying to, you know, I don't know what's up with my hound dog today, but she all of a sudden the last 15, 20 minutes is trying her best to get into everything and anything. She needs uh, attention, yes, Mom. Sure. She knows it's time for you to go live. She wants no. to be in the show. That's all it is. Well, she can get up here in my lap and be in the show, but she can't go around trying to get to stuff on <laughs> cabinets or uh-uh. <laughs> and if you're watching, hey, Daddy. Love you. Uh -huh. And if you're lurking, day. folks, because you're busy working on something else, thank you so much for being here. But if you would, please be sure to hit the little thumb because you know it helps the channel. It certainly and does. for those of you that will be watching later on, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. No. No, ma'am. I'm doing just fine, Sarah. I'm sure Maureen is too. Yes, I am. Uh, the other weekend. It's going to be a long live if this dog keeps up like this. Ah, she'll be all right. She'll be all right. Everybody knows how pets are. Sometimes they just, that away. They're like yeah. kids. They just yep. want to go out every now and then, you know. And you got to deal with it and move on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, Rita, my little sister. How are you, sweetheart? Hi, Rita. How are you doing? Ain't seen you in a while. Oh, my goodness. Sarah's dealing with swollen ankles. She's doing mm. fine. For I know that, Theta. I, my I... one one leg, my short leg, does mm -hmm. that really bad. And it's it's got where here lately. My foot will get big as my head. Oh, my goodness. And Mine is because of the why. humidity. Mine is yeah. because of the humidity. Yeah. Well, they're, uh, my doctor's thinking maybe mine's because of my thyroid. Oh, could be. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's 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 checking it. The thyroid is is one of those things that you do not absolutely do not want to medicate for. No. If you're high or low, unless you need it, absolutely right. positively need it, right. because it can mess up a lot of other um, parts of your system. And uh, right, she's been keeping an eye on it for the past two three months and it'll be real high and then it goes real low so oh my goodness she's she's she wants to make really really sure exactly what the problem is before she does any mm -hmm. kind of medicating so right 
we're hoping that uh, we can figure it out anyway. But, you know, it's just one thing or another. This whole body's just falling apart. My warranty's up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know how that works. When your warranty yes. runs out, it falls all to pieces. Yeah. Me, yeah. My warranty ran up about 10 years ago, I think. <laughs> Sarah says uh, hers is from the heat. That's exactly right. That's what mine yeah. is, heat and humidity. Yeah. And from having kidney disease. Well, sweetheart, I'm mm. so sorry about that. Yes, absolutely. Rita, Rita <laughs> said, lady, she's not tired. Or she's tired from traveling anymore. And she's got a whole lot of energy. That's right. She yes, doesn't ride no she more. Does. She's got to work out all that time. <laughs> yep, she's just about um, settled in here. So uh, yesterday was really funny. Um, it sounded like, now I don't have the windows open, but I do have blinds open. And all of a sudden we started hearing music like there was a band right outside the window. Well, And so I walked over there. I mean, a live band. Honestly, that's what it sounded like. So I looked wow. out the window and no, there wasn't anybody out there in the parking lot. Well, it came from the room next door. Well, whatever they were playing, Lacey did not like oh it. My. Yeah. She was howling to let them know, and I just about couldn't get her quiet. <laughs> it was, oh, my word. Well, if they was making racket that loud, then she could, too. She was I, I guess so. You know, join in yeah. with the bump, bump, bump. She was giving a whoop, whoop, whoop. Um, <laughs> Well, she was doing something, let me tell you. But evidently, they figured out that with me having to yell at her you know to calm down get quiet mm -hmm. it finally shut off so i don't know if yeah. they were playing a a live tape or what but i'm not kidding you it sounded like they were right outside the window oh my goodness was it one of them polka bands boop, 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 boop. no this was kind of like rock and roll jazz or something i don't know oh, wow it, well that might have been all right to listen to you should well it would have been for me <laughs> but it wasn't making her happy <laughs> <laughs> she didn't care for it she don't like that kind. Yeah. she wanted the polka music that's what it was uh, she wanted the country music is what she wanted oh is she, that what it is she's a mm -hmm. country girl well all right she is a country girl <laughs> good morning suzanne how are you doing good or good afternoon morning suzanne uh, Rita says she's been having a bad migraine for the last 48 hours and she finally found out why. It's her brother's aftershave. Imagine oh, my word. That. Something oh. as simple as that. Yep. And all at once you're like, oh, that's what it is. Oh, get away from me. Yeah. That's right. It's good to know what it is, but it's awful that it had to be that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you can always make them go get a shower and buy them some different aftershaves, you know. <laughs> get it all done, yeah. Go get you something else, right? You know, I don't even like going to have the to stink. I mean, you might like the, you know, the 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 smell, but it's is so strong. It may be what it is. Yeah, well, you know, I don't even go down the laundry aisle anymore. Ooh. I do. Yeah, mm -mm. and I no. do. I just go right to where I want, hold my breath and get back out of there and try to get away from that area as fast as I can because, oh my word, all the different fragrances uh -huh. and the smell of clean, you know. Uh, woo. And is the candle aisle. Oh. Yes, Ooh. that's another one. I cannot go down. I just can't do it. I cannot go down that aisle. I mean, mm -hmm. it, will, it will cause me a headache that will last right. for days and days. I can't stand it. Yeah. It's, it's so strong. I can't stand it. It's, yeah. I, I, it's so many. It's right. Many That's the problem. The time is just like, you can't breathe. It's the culmination of all of it. And sometimes it doesn't smell good, you know, when all those smells get together. Yuck. Uh, <laughs> Rita said the funny thing is he also had a migraine, didn't know why. Well, new aftershave went in the garbage. I understand. Oh, my goodness. That. <laughs> you know when i was teaching i finally got to where i had to tell my high school girls and boys when you come before you come to my classroom if you're going to spray your cologne or your whatever you do it out there by your locker do not do it in my room yep. because 
Did you not have some students that would come in after athletics or PE and they'd be sitting there pulling their stuff out of their bag and oh my word, it was yeah. just awful. So I, yeah, I had to post a sign outside my door saying no perfume, no cologne in use in my room. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was awful. Yeah, it's, it's, it gets very, very overwhelming quickly. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. So before we get on to today's topic, what are you guys drinking and what's your weather like? Oh, I'm of course I'm always drinking my Dr. Pepper. There's no doubt about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says it's 75 and sunny, but I do believe the humidity has got the temperature up a lot higher than that. Right. Well, Bring I'm up. at 80 degrees and the humidity is 56 percent. And I'm drinking a good old fashioned can of Fresca. Ooh. Now, Bonnie, when I pulled it up to take a drink a minute ago, went, what are you drinking? And I said, I'm drinking Fresca. And what do you say it looked like? It looks like a bush beer can. <laughs> Just at a glance, it's the nope. same colors. You know, the blue and the silver. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, no, no beer, no beer, no yeah, beer. No. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Candy. How are you, sweetheart? Good morning, Candy. Rita says that's why she can't have a normal social life. People stink. They also <laughs> something else, but I'm not going to say it on here because Maureen yeah. don't get a hold of me. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. It's 66 and raining where Froggy is. He's got a Diet Coke and a PB sandwich. Oh, my goodness. You don't got no jelly on that PB sandwich? Just peanut butter? No jelly? Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see. Candy says she's okay at the moment. That's good. That's very good. Rita's got coffee, third cup of water, oh, water, four bottles, and it is starting to help together with medication. She's talking about trying to get rid of her um, migraine. Yes. yes. Sarah says she's currently at 77 with a high of 90 or higher. <gasps> she's got water in her tumbler. No jelly oh, for froggy. Bless your heart. Uh, well, I have to have grape jelly on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I Wayne prefers apple. strawberry. You have to have apple? I have to have apple. Yeah, Wayne prefers strawberry. And I like, Apple jelly and peanut butter. I like Nutella on mine, too. That makes it taste like a Reese's cup. Ooh. Uh, with, with the peanut butter? Yes. Oh. Peanut butter and the, just a little bit of Nutella makes it taste uh-huh. just like you're eating a Reese cup. Oh, well, I'll be darned. I'll have to try that. Oh, it is so good. And with, with the jelly on there, oh, man. You wouldn't think jelly and a Reese's cup would be good together, but it is. Gary. Well, guess we'll have to try that. Gary. I got the peanut butter. I got the bread. I got my own jelly. I guess I'll have to get a little thing of Nutella. If Warren was here, I'd have to have a big container of Nutella because that baby eats Nutella on nearly anything that is bread-like. Waffle, wow. pancakes, sandwich. Yes, he's a Nutella nut mm. for sure. I like it, but I don't think I like it that well. <laughs> oh, he loves it. <laughs> oh, me. Ooh, Rita just got her first homegrown Ecologics I mean, strawberry, I guess. You, mm-hmm. I think she means ecologically grown, you know, uh, no pesticides, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Sarah says she has to have strawberry with her peanut butter. While growing up, she had rhubarb jam on her peanut butter. Oh, That's I bet that was thing, good. Isn't it? Strawberries, mm-hmm. rhubarb, they, they taste pretty close, don't they? Pretty close, yeah, but I think there is a distinct difference between uh, the two. Uh, well, yeah, but yeah. If you know Good the morning, difference. Good you morning, know. Angela. How are you, sweetheart? Hey, frozen Angela. How are you? What's you drinking and what's your temperature, Angela? <coughs> Excuse me. Suzanne says she's having a regular coke. The weather is really nice right now, not so hot and humid. 
at the moment. So that's oh. good. Well, it's humid here, man. I tell you what, you walk outside, come back in, and all you need is a towel and a bar of soap. I'm telling you, you you can step outside and do that here too, but you'd be washing with sweat, not water. Mm -hmm. Whew, yeah. It's, it's yeah. so thick, you can't breathe. It's it's bad today. Bad. But yeah, well, it's close to summer. It's already a little, yep, that's right. It's just the summer. Depending on where you live, it can be hot and humid or it can be hot and dry. Yep. Either one. We so hot and humid here. It is a little bit 15 past the hour, so I say let's go ahead and get into our topic for today. Oh, what okay. do you normally carry or keep in your Notion bag? I'm going to show you what I keep in mind normally. It's kind of like my, my go-to, and then I just add what it is. Oh, that I add it. You need it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Now, we talked about, you know, this not too long ago i think it was on connie's channel uh, there's always the typical you know stitch markers i keep a little box of stitch markers and of course we have to have our scissors um and you might not always take a tape measure with you when you're working on a project but i do keep one I like in my bag it kind of depends on what i'm what i'm working on I like to have one just in case. You never and then it. I like to keep with me a pencil and a notepad because you never know when you see something or um, if, you know, you're driving somewhere and it's like, oh, wait a minute, there's a Joann's. I got to go in. And if you're lucky enough to talk your husband into taking you in there, you know. So the first thing I do is I reach into my project bag and pull out my notepad so that if I go in and I see something, especially uh, if it's a new type of yarn, a lot of oh, times yeah. when I see yarn, I automatically think, ooh, a hat or ooh, a baby dress. Or mm -hmm. and so I like to write down yep. you know, what the color that I saw, especially if I don't pick it up that day, uh, what the yarn was, the color, uh, maybe some more details on it, and what it was that made me think about it. Yeah. At the time. Yeah. And then sometimes too, um, whether you have a pattern or you're working on your own pattern, uh, you know, it's just nice to have something to write down. Uh, because yeah. I'll, I'll be frank with you guys here lately, some of the patterns that I've bought to make things with, um, uh, every once in a while I run across like it's either a typo or who whoever transcribed the pattern for someone missed the beat. Yep. And so I'll go in there and change it myself. So I like to have something to write on to say that I went in there and did this so that I can transfer it, you know, later in the pattern, especially if I read it off my phone or my tablet. Mm -hmm. Hello, Brynn. How are you, sweetheart? I saw you pop in there just a little bit ago. Hey, Brynn. How are you doing? And then probably a couple of little things that maybe y'all do do bleh, you do keep in your bag or you don't um i have i saw this on somebody else's channel years ago um i don't use these little steel hooks anymore because they just hurt my my thumbs i just can't you know use them but she said that if you had these laying around and you're not using them, why not carry them in your notion bags? Because we all know sometimes when we're pulling out yarn, we get awful yarn bars. Yep. And so when you're in there trying to detangle and you get a knot that's so tight, you take this and you wiggle it in there to open up that knot just a little bit. Yep. And voila instead of sitting there trying to pick it apart with your fingers mm -hmm. and you know sometimes the hook that you're working with is too big to get in there so i keep one of these in my notion bag just for that purpose I, and then I, the last, that would work a lot better than a darning needle that's usually what i use if yes. i have a knot i'll dig out my darning mm -hmm. needles we put right. in there. but now the darning needle sometimes will split the yarn up and when mm -hmm. you're pulling the knot apart so i yeah. bet those, that would work a lot better especially if you turned it around and used the other end 
and either of one i yeah. i normally just get it in there you know enough to where it gets past the knot uh -huh. and then i just start wiggling it around and then once it's up big enough the little holes big yeah, enough great. then i can pull it out without yeah you know separating the yarn yeah. or the strand of yarn yeah that works pretty good that probably then, works better than my darning needle <laughs> yeah and then i have one or two things that i normally keep in my bag and i'll tell you why here in a minute i carry either hand sanitizer or a little tube of lotion and here's the reason why uh by the time i get in the car and everything's been packed and settled you know and we're going down the road just a little bit i'm ready to pull out my bag and start doing some crocheting well you never know what you've gotten on your hands and i don't want to transfer or have fingerprints from mm. just whatever you know dirty ice handle cream. On truck. Mm -hmm. ice cream yes there you go so i like <laughs> to wash my or to clean off my hands and sometimes um if I don't have hand sanitizer, I'll throw in a tube of lotion. And then I always keep, you know, paper towel with me. So that by the time I've got them clean, I can wipe them off, put the tube back in there. And then when I get home, I just replace my, my paper towels. Mm -hmm. So that's what I normally keep in my project bags. So, that, and I keep three of them all the time loaded up like that. And so that all I have to do is grab one and then throw in my hook. My pattern, if I'm working on one that's printed off, you know, and then I'm ready to go uh -huh. in my notion bag. I mean, in my project bag. Yeah. That way you can so, go in your bag and go. Hey, Amy. That's how are right. you today? Glad you got me. Good Let's... morning, Amy. Trying to see. Bryn said, hey. Hey. Oh, hey, Amy. See Rita. Are you and there's today? Amy, Linda, and I mean, Rita and Suzanne are talking back and forth. Oh, there's Crochet Amy, and then there's Amy T. How are you, ladies? Thank you all so much for being here. Uh -huh, We're talking about what we keep in our notion bags. Yes. Now, I'm, I'm pretty close to what you are. I don't have one handy to, to unload right this second, but mm -hmm. I, I, I'm pretty much the same as you. I keep... Um, of course, my scissors or snips, you know, some little scissors mm -hmm. or whatever. And then uh, uh, my, I like to keep my measuring tape in there because you never know when you're going to need it. You That's never know, right. You know, if if all of a sudden your tension's got a little bit loose, you, you some over, somebody came over and went to talking to you and, and distracted you, you know, and something right. was getting real big, wonky, and out of shape. You got mm -hmm. to measure it up. But, uh, yeah, I keep just about the same things you do. You know, I get the the stitch markers in the in the um, measuring tape, the hook, and but I now don't carry the little hook in mine, the steel hook. I keep my right um, um, darning needles. Right, I have a little bitty case of, of extras that I keep right. in my notion bag, and I'll use that to undo at night. But I, I think your idea with the steel hook would work e even better. I, I may try that. Well, I've got a lot of little steel hooks. Well, I do use them, but it still wouldn't hurt to put one, you know, one of the odd ones. I, yeah. I've probably got a couple of sets. I could I could dig through one of them at least and spare right. them somewhere. <laughs> well, like I said, you know, I don't use them anymore. And I do have a set that was my granas, which... Mm will not get used for oh, anything. I mean, I just, you know, uh, if I was still making uh, doilies and things that required uh, the smaller hooks, I might be tempted to use hers, but guys, hers have been used for so long that right here in the neck of a lot of those hooks, they're just so thin. I'm afraid because I'm a tight crocheter, yeah. I'm afraid I'd bust the head right off of there, even though they are steel, you know? Yeah, and it would probably take a lot lot longer to wear it out than you think. With my luck, the mm -hmm. first first time I had to pull it hard, it'd go boop, and then fly off across the room somewhere. Right. But yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, 
And that's right. Uh, Rita, and that is why I, I like that size of notion bag so we can get something in them. And speaking of this size of notion bags, guys, this is one of the ones that Rita made for me. Uh, mm -hmm. I had her make quite a few because I like putting them in my uh, giveaways because you can put a lot of stuff in here. And I wanted it big enough so that if you had a pattern, especially a printed one, you know, you could fold it in half and put it in here and take the pattern along with you. I did that. So, uh, Ren says she likes uh, the bulb stitch markers to hold the crochet stitch or for a drop stitch. That's yeah. another reason why I carry the little um, markers so that um, it'll let me know where I stop, number one, and it doesn't pull mm -hmm. the stitch out either. You know. Well, I like too to when I'm crocheting, if I've got a project or something, just for me, you know. Right. I like when I put my stitch marker in in the uh, project, and I pick it up mm -hmm. and start working on it. Well, I'll just start working on it, and I like to look back and see how, what the progress is that I've made from the time that right. I pick it up. You know, mm -hmm. and, and uh, that's real for me personally. That's yeah. encouraging because I think. Oh, okay, I haven't been working on this, but maybe an hour or so, and I've got this much right. already. You know, it's it's right. encouraging to look back and see that you have made progress on what you're working on. Because if it's hard, or not hard, but if it's something you got to concentrate on, it's mm -hmm. really really inspiring to look back and say, "I can do this." I, that's nice. Or I did that. If yeah. Or if you're working on a big project like a blanket, you know, I don't care if it's a baby blanket, an Afghan, or even bigger. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I've told you folks before, I do not like making blankets. That's my daughter's joy. So mm -hmm. I let her do that. But I do enjoy making baby blankets. But even those sometimes can just get, man, am I ever going to get through with this thing? So, you know what? That is a good idea. I hadn't thought about that, mm -hmm. Connie. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if you mark off where you've stopped and you pick it up and start going again, mm -hmm. it might encourage me to keep going and going, you know what? This isn't too bad. I am being able to. You can see the progress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it yeah. really does. It For me, it shows me that. Yes, I am making progress, even mm -hmm. though it's taking a little while. I am making good right. progress, you know. And then you, when you stop again, of course, you move your stitch marker up to where you stop that. Right. And then the next time you just keep going and you'll see the progress you made the next time. Mm -hmm. you know? And a lot of times that's what really does encourage me to keep on going and finish it up. You know, right. I don't like to yeah. a little bit more of this. You know, in, in in a couple of hours, I did this much. I could be done by the end of the day, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. thing. It, it, Amy, just for my personal, you know, is nothing, no race, no test, no anything. It's just for my personal to look back and say, oh, I can do this and keep going. But like I said, it is that to me, that's a good hint. And mm -hmm. I will probably start doing that, especially when I get back to making baby blankets and, you know, that kind of thing. Or well, anything, uh, even a shawl. hat, even yeah. a hat, a shawl, a sock, mm -hmm. a pair of gloves, yeah. whatever, you know, just wherever mm -hmm. you lay it down at, you've got your stitch marker in your project anyway. Mm -hmm. So just kind of slip it out of this, out of the loop, okay. put it in that stitch and then just keep you know keep going then you can look back and say oh okay, right. i did this much in an in an hour's time i i can get this right. done by the end of the day you know kind of thing. yeah to me it uh, helps me look back and and know that a certain type of prog project takes this amount of time or that amount of time you know depending on what the project is and the stitch you know mm -hmm. and, and what i'm making I know right. how long it takes me to make it. That's right. a good way to track how long it takes you to make something. Uh, Amy T said about the same thing. She keeps a small uh, posted pad, a hook or two, and a fun color felt tip pen. Mm -hmm. I bet that's to mark off your uh, rows that you've completed, isn't it, Amy? Mm -hmm. Or to even uh, just make notes with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brian says. Great. 
Good morning, Pat Cray. How are you, dude? Brian says, I keep a steel hook in my sock knitting, knitting bag to pick up the drop stitches and then to get back on, to get them back on the needle. That's pretty good. Yeah, because the, the steel hooks are small enough, they can pick up the little knitting loops. And yes. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep, yep. Now, Froggy says, I keep a snack. Hadn't thought about that. Mm, that's always good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Measuring tape, needle, scissors, pencil, paper, pad, a scrunchie. Hadn't thought about that. Mm -hmm. Lotion, hand sanitizer, stitch markers. Her hooks are hitting knitting needles. I want to know why this one. Dental floss. Yes, a gauge and the pattern. Why would you keep dental floss in your? Is that to take care of the snack afterwards? Just in case, probably. Maybe. I guess so. You know, take care of business yeah. while you while you're sitting there. Otherwise, you right. might forget it. I guess I don't. I I couldn't see any other reason for the dental floss and crochet. You know, right? Like, unless maybe you was using it for a stitch marker. But I but hadn't if thought you about that. Stitch markers in there. Why would you use dental floss? So I don't know. Yeah, everybody. Uh, dental floss works for making a lifeline when knitting. I oh, okay. Forgot about that. Yep. Okay. Forgot all about that. Yeah, well, a lot of people I'm, have that. A lot of people. Since I'm not a knitter, I I had no idea what it was for. But that uh, the the dental floss maybe not necessarily everybody uses, but the the lifeline I know of a lot of knitters that do use that because. If something were to happen and your project started unraveling or you mm -hmm. it slipped off your needles for whatever reason, it, the lifeline keeps it from just going and getting the whole thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Sharon says she uh, also keep no. Yes, she I always keep, keep nail file and clippers somewhere. If I don't have it in my notion pouch, it's in my purse so that I have it. Because I'm forever busting off a, a nail in mm -hmm. somewhere. Yeah. And it's always yeah. inconvenient at a place that I do it. Right. Now, I'll tell you something else I use my Notion bags for, and it's not always for Notion. Okay. Um, right now, I'm working on a, a, a salamander uh, amigurumi. Uh -huh. And it has... Number one, guys, it is an adorable pattern. Number two, I've not seen a salamander amigurumi before, but she puts so much detail into the amigurumi that there are parts on parts on parts. I mean, just the eye alone has the white background, then the black, and then a little bitty piece for, you know, like the little white spotlight, I guess you could say mm -hmm. the little highlighter. The highlighter. Then, then it's got a little ring around it to outline the black. Then it's got an eyelid, and that's just for one eye. So think about having to double that up. Yep. Uh, then we have the head, we have the lower jaw, the black for the inside of the mouth, and the little tongue that comes out. Mm -hmm. All of that is in pieces. So yep. and this particular um, notion bag is just the right size to put him all together so I don't lose those pieces. Exactly. So, exactly. Um, well, I don't always use my notion bag just to hold my crochet notions in. Uh -huh. This bag has got a project in it that I had to stop and start on another one. So I shoved mm -hmm. the whole thing into here and it's going to be an Afghan. This okay. is my uh, mosaic. Oh, yes. Uh huh. I had to stop it and start another project. So I just folded it up and rolled it and put it all down in here. The young, the two colors that I'm working on at the time, you know, right. the yarn I had already started, I put down in here with my project just because I didn't want that yarn to get used for something else or to get tangled up right. into something else. So I put the one right. I was using inside my bag, zip it up, and I know exactly what it is. Mm hmm Yep. So. Yep. Uh, now, 
what are some crazy things or items have that you have used? Them. Yes, isn't that pretty? Well, what are some crazy things that you've used to keep your notions in? Mm. Has it always been what we typically call a notion bag? Nope. Nope. I used to keep my little stitch markers, and in fact, I still do. This is oh, this is glass. Uh huh. It's not a glass. I used to keep the stitch markers themselves in a medicine bottle. I put oh. it in there and put the lid on the med old medicine bottle. Of course, I took the label and everything off of it. It right. was just plain. But it was, you know, I'd put just a few of them in that medicine bottle, throw it in my in my pouch. Because mm -hmm. I didn't, at the time, I didn't have anything else to keep these from going all over everywhere, you know. But right. these are the stitch markers that I use mostly. I've got right. my special stitch markers I keep on a pair of scissors right here. That some that I've been gifted. And um, of course they're special to me, you know, like my right. Harry the elephant little thing I had. Mm -hmm. And my little frog. We know who that's from. That's the little froggy. Right. And uh, anyway, there there's several on here, but they're on the fingers. Of my scissors. That's cool. And thought That's about putting them there. That's just because I like to look at them, so I keep them where right. I can see them. But this little glass jar was something. Uh, I don't know if I ought to tell it or not. Mm -hmm. It's a glass jar that you used to could get. Um, this potpourri, not potpourri. Um. You know, the crazy, wacky weed stuff. Only, <laughs> crazy. only when the real stuff is the stuff that ain't supposed to got nothing in it. You know what I'm talking right. about? I know what you're talking about. That's okay. what this was. <laughs> 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 and it, had, it has a little lid that's supposed to go on it. It's a uh -huh. little stopper, on, you know, right. rubber band. And it's mm -hmm. a stopper and goes on there. But before I went to keeping my scissors in here, that was just perfect. To put my stitch markers in to sit over here. Now right. I wouldn't throw this glass in right. my notion bag. This is just to sit over here no. and be pretty. I, right. I don't carry this with me anywhere. So uh, that Rita, says, of glass. Rita says that she has a, a little candy box that she keeps her um, stitch markers in. Amy said, My mom did that too, Connie. I found a few medicine bottles safety pins in them when I cleaned up her stuff yep. recently. Oh, yep. wow. I, I, I do keep safety pins in the medicine bottle in my uh, sewing box right now. Oh, wow. Froggy said grocery bag, makeup bag, cups, mugs, Altoid tins, pill bottles, a shoe box, a bowl, a mason jar, and a tackle box. Yep. Oh, my tackle goodness. Box is good for notions because you got those little squares. Uh-huh. You know? And you can usually they've got a little divider in between it, and you can slip that out, and move it over one, and make it bigger if you need to. You mm -hmm. know, put scissors in there. And the tackle box is a good uh, project bag if you're doing a bunch of small stuff. It's a good bag. <laughs> My grandma used to take um, tube socks. And she'd drop all of her notions down in there and tie up the top of the sock and throw it in her bag. Oh, wow. She never used a notion bag, never even crocheted herself up one until, oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Way after she had been teaching me how to uh, crochet. Good morning, Jane. How are you? Hey, Jane. How are you doing this morning? I no, use. I, I, I would have never thought of using any kind of notion bag when I first started. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. it never crossed my mind to do that. But now I made all kinds of little purses, little chains. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was I, I love making those a little just little bitty things, you know, instant right. gratification. Right. Um, uh -huh. but, you know, I love making those. And I and, and I, but I've never, you know, when I first started crocheting, I would have never thought, hey, put stick stitch markers in one. 
hey, put an extra pair of scissors or snips mm -hmm. or, or some, you know, take it with you when you're going somewhere. I'd have never thought to take my crochet with me when I was going yeah. from work. Yeah, I, I never to took. I, I, I wouldn't have done it. No. Yeah. I never took mine until my girls started getting into activities in which we had to travel somewhere. And mm -hmm. sometimes it would be like, like an hours and I had to have something to do. So I started yeah. taking things with me. And so I started out with Ziploc baggies. Those mm -hmm. were my notion pouches forever. Yeah. And then yeah. I switched over to pencil boxes. That's where I put all of my stuff for years after that. And then really it hasn't been until like the last couple of years that I started um, using the pouch itself. Uh, I prefer the ones with the zippers on top because, you know, the snaps across the Thank top, um, some of my notions would fall out. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I stitch dropped them in there and didn't keep them in a case or something. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Hey, Stephanie, how are you today? Good morning, Stephanie. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Jane said she's watching her grandkids in the pool before the rain comes. Well, that's oh, wow. Awesome. Well, that is awesome. The only reason I started taking my crochet with me, and this is awful to say, but I had a friend that uh, I drove for a lot mm -hmm. when I was more able to, to, to do things like that. Every, every time she had a doctor's appointment or anything like that, I would drive her. Right. And when she got better, she had a, a hip broken and she mm. had to have surgery on that is, is a lot of the reason that I started driving for. Her. And when she right. got better, she wanted to begin driving again. Well, I don't care for her driving all that much. <laughs> <laughs> so when we would go somewhere I would take crochet with me even if we were just going like just right up the street or something you, right. you know, if it was long enough I could get that crochet out and do just a little bit that's what I was doing because I was looking down <laughs> I, I wasn't looking up at the road and watching what she was doing I was looking down because if oh I was not watching her, I was warping her. Watch your car. Watch your car. No. I, ooh, stop. stop, 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 stop. <laughs> I hate oh, her oh, Lord. She drove an ambulance for a living for years and years. Oh. And years. So she was one of them that had the lead foot. She had a right. lead foot or she was stopped. That, right. You know, there was no in between. And gotcha. whew, it made me nervous. Yeah, made me made bad nervous. <laughs> Wish yeah. you now too. Angela says she uses Ziploc baggies. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's what I used for a long, long time with Ziploc baggies and then pencil cases. Yep, yep. The little uh, plastic mm -hmm. with the zipper on it. Yep. Yeah, right. You no, know, yep. I mean the like the little plastic lid ones. You know, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then you Those know you could find. You could find some uh, pencil bags, but mm -hmm. mine was mainly the pencil boxes. Um, mine was more the bags because that's what my daughter liked to take to school. And when she thought she needed a new one, you know, that she was tired of carrying that one. She wanted another one. Well, right. I'd take the one she got rid of and she'd get a new one. Well, I'd put my stuff in it and throw it in my bag, you know. Right, right. Uh, Sharon said she posted a pouch on her way to Comic Con and gifted it. <laughs> Candy says you must have been driving with her mother. <laughs> mm, I'm telling you. Woo. But now we're we're estranged now. We're no longer friends. But it's ooh, used to get on my nerves. I'd beg her, oh let me drive. Let and I, I and I finally began telling her, I'm driving or I ain't going. Right. That's yeah. just all it was. Sometimes you have to do that. Mm -hmm. But now I am one of those drivers that talk to the people. That's mm -hmm. in front of me or pulling On up the beside side. of me or parking beside of me or whatever the case may be. Right. I, I'm, I'm definitely one of those people that, that talk to them because I will tell them just where they need to go, how they need to get there, what at speed they need to be going and 
you know, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. And complain to them if they have, have a driver's license or not. And where did you get it from? Cracker Jack. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Or Walmart. That's what my husband always says. Yep. Walmart. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, Froggy says, be glad that I don't drive anymore because she also drove lens. Well, you know, uh, the, you, like that shirt says that you got, Froggy, if people don't like your driving, they can stay off the damn sidewalks. Mm-hmm. There you go. Excuse me. Excuse me. I didn't <laughs> say that. You know, Froggy also says she carries ibuprofen and a small bag. Of yeah. Yep. Sandra, well, hello, Sandra. I didn't see you pop Sandra, in here. With a SC, how you doing mm -hmm. today? She I has used a tackle box. South Carolina. Yep, she has used a tackle box in the past, she said. Mm -hmm. I told yeah. you, they make good ones because those little squares, you can just customize, make them any size you want them to be. And, you know, right. you can even buy the little, little uh, plastic boxes now. Uh, from Amazon or wherever, you know, you can get a bit Walmart or whatnot right. that has the little dividers in it that you can yes. move around and make the space the size you need it to be. And those right. things are they're pretty convenient. Right. Right. Well, I I still prefer the pouch because I can stuff I it with as much or as little as I want. Me uh, too. With and the, most of the time I can get a skinny yarn and yes. a hook in there and a piece of paper with my pattern on it, you know, right. something small that I can just grab up real quick and take with me too. Yep. You know, I don't yep. have to have necessarily a whole big project bag. Mm -hmm. Right. So, That's the way mine hurry, is I just too. grab that one. Yeah. Yep. So let's see. I think that has got us caught up. I want mm -hmm. to see if Madonna has dropped anything for today. I believe she has. Has I'm she? Well, let's go look and see. Yes. Madonna says, uh, welcome to Friday, the 23rd day of June. It's National Pink Day, National Hydration Day, Pink Flamingo Day, Just Let It Go Day, and Take Your Dog to Work Day. I wish I'd have known that earlier this morning so I could have sent Lacey with her daddy. Uh -huh. And it's Typewriter Day. Oh, my God. Good food holidays are Detroit style pizza and pecan sandies. Oh, I love those little Ooh, cookies. Ooh. I do too. Mm, mm, mm. Love them little cookies. And uh, deep, deep, deep dish pizza. Oh, my, 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 my. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. Froggy said, as a teenager, she used her, uh for her makeup and she used it for crochet. Oh, my yep. goodness. I've not heard about a caboodle in forever. Yep, that's very true. And I, I think you could, no, you couldn't move the dividers around in that. I think they were stationary, but they had a whole lot of different ones. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. My little sister got one. Uh, Sandra says that uh, she now she now uses a clear vinyl makeup bag with a zipper top. Yep. Yeah. That'll work too. Sure mm -hmm. does. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, you're you're able to see what you got inside there too. That would help a lot. You know, if you were in a hurry just to grab it up and go, you could yeah. see that you had what you needed to throw in your project bag. You know, right? That right. might be a good idea. Hadn't thought about that, but that is a good idea. Mm -hmm. And especially for someone that's just starting out in crochet, you yep. know, make a motion bag to put things in. You know, give them a little starter set. That would be that's good. Right. Yep, that's very true. And they make excellent gifts. Cause oh, yes. I, mean, I don't care how long you've been crocheting or how many projects you've got going at one time. You have to have the basics, you know. Right. Whether you're sitting still working on a project at home or if you take it with you and you're on the road or, or for whatever reason, you still have to have a notions path. Right, of some kind or another, you, if if it ain't nothing but the pat the pocket inside your right. pocket bag, you still got that little little place where you're keeping your scissors and your and maybe your stitch markers or whatever you're gonna take with you. It's mm -hmm. still in that 
in that little pa uh, pocket. Right. You know, so that's a pouch. And it's there. It's excellent for making gifts out of because mm -hmm. the little scissors and the and the like you said the tape measure and the and the uh, uh, stitch markers, a little pack of stitch markers, things like that. They're they're very inexpensive. Oh and yeah, you just you know throw them in there. And if you happen to lose your notions bag, you leave it somewhere. Right. You go to the doctor's office and you forget it sitting in the waiting room or whatever, then you've right. not lost a lot of money. You know right. what I mean? You, yeah. You, it's just inexpensive to keep. That way you can have a lot of them. Right. Right. It makes a good gift, really good gift. I got one to hey. share. Woo, you got one to share. Funny. How Don't are you me. this morning? I'm good. I have one to share. Go ahead. You know when you when you buy stuff on Amazon or Timu or wherever you buy it. Um, you get this bag that zippers at the top. Oh, yes. You get this because see, mine's got the label. I, I keep my I, I keep some yarn in it. Just saying. <laughs> These things are reusable. And if they, this one doesn't, but if they have the little holes, Froggy tapes the holes and keeps the yarn in it. Well, yeah. Uh, but you could use it for a notions pouch. Don't pay attention to the hair. I'm a mess. But you could use it for a notions pouch. It would be like perfect. Mm -hmm. um, this is another thing I use. I'll just grab this and head out the door with my project pattern and hook. Mm -hmm. This is filled with stitch. Well, mm -hmm. it's filled with stitch markers. I promise there's a tape measure in here. <laughs> Think you got enough? You might need another I, one or two. I, I just I just, I just um dumped a brand new pack of stitch markers in it because I needed them. <laughs> um, but Rita will know what this is. What is you it? Guys, what oh it is. This is a hook gauge. Uh, a, not a hook gauge, a needle gauge. Oh, for knitting? For knitting needles. And this fits in that tin. Yep. Wow. You see? So I, I, I carry a gauge in every notions thing and mm -hmm. it measures the gauge of my needles. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So I have a gauge in everything because if I'm knitting, I'm, I can't read my needles. Right. Mm -hmm. And that it, it's indispensable. Yep. And I always have knitting stitch markers and I have crochet stitch markers. That's why I prefer certain types of stitch markers because I can use them for both knitting and crochet. It makes it a lot easier for me. Uh -huh. I, I told you I had a tape measure in here. You had a so, what? I have a tape measure buried in here. Oh, so, you found it. Yeah. And but a hook fits a hook fits in this. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there's scissors in the bottom of it. I'm not digging them out. Mm -hmm. um, but all that stuff fits in here, which is great. This yep. I got in, in my Hobby Lobby box. Thing. Yep. But you can get a big 10 like that. Mm -hmm. Probably That's what, on Timo. Well, but see, uh, when pencil mark. Uh, yes. Yes. Pen pencil, pencil, pencil boxes. Yes. That's These are great. That's for, that. what I mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. That's what I carried my stuff in. Yep. Just like that. Now, for those long Tunisian hooks, I don't have any idea about a cheap storage tin because mm. you're looking at something that's way longer. Right. Yeah, that would be about I would, inches, wouldn't it? I would look for. You're not going. You're going to think I'm weird. I'd look for a mailing tube. Yeah. Oh, that would work. A mailing tube. They come in varied lengths. Yes, they do. Yep. So I would look for a mailing tube. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A, P a Pringle can is not long enough for the long Afghan hooks. No. Yeah. No. But, but I would look for a mailing people. tube. They're not expensive. No, uh-uh. Or really if you got a DIY bone in your body or a DIY husband, mm -hmm. you can always get a piece of PVC and cut it to the length you need it to be. You so could. That's a good idea. Yeah. You could put in it. it. And put the yes. put a cap on the bottom and have an extra cap to go on the top. That'll the, pop on and off. Yeah. The case. Mm -hmm. 
It sure would oh, be. Oh, I like that brand. I, I have a case for my long for my long needles, for my straights. Um, right. And obviously, yes. one for the. Um, you can see mine back here. And mm -hmm. they're in a glass bottle with my uh, uh, sharpies, mm -hmm. so that it'll hold them up. My 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 bottle is our glass jar is full of sharpies, and I just uh -huh. stick the knit needle or the asking hooks either one down in there with them and the the, the sharpies hold them up straight so yes. they don't oh, nice. yeah oh yeah the other thing you can do which is inexpensive as well is um like when you go to michael's you can get a basket um get a basket from like the dollar store um, right you can get this from the dollar store as well i keep forgetting that you can get it there dollar tree you can get that green floral foam Stick mm -hmm. it in your basket and stick yeah. your hooks down in it. Yep, and it'll hold and you got a beautiful display mm -hmm. um, for your hooks, your needles, or whatever you want. And, and you, can put that, you can put that in the bottom of the PVC pipe as well, and you that'll could. keep your hooks or needles from hitting the bottom of it and yes. stuffing them up. You know, you could just push them down in there and it would hold them. Yes, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I didn't mean to come up and hijack. No, 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 no. He this loves is you. What that, do you mean? You're for that, but, You know, that's what this is all about is sharing ideas of, you know, what we can do. And I love that PVC idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's inexpensive, especially if you've got any kind of laying around anywhere. If you've got a husband that does projects, you got a DIY right. husband, then they're going to have pieces of stuff that they cut yeah. off laying around saving oh, yeah. her just if I might I might need this, you know. Mm -hmm. and you just go hijack it. That's and right. The, the little the cap that goes on the end, you can take they, they screw on and off. Right. The, some, some of them, them do and some of them are just made, you know, permanent. they don't let they're made they to be permanent caps right. on the end of it. But you can make one end permanent and one end not. Right. You know? The permanent end, all you got to do is cut that floral foam to fit in in the end of your tube. And then when yeah. you tap it, it'll stay right there. That's you know, right. You put the permanent end on it. And then yep. that way, when you take the cap off the other end and put your hooks down in there, you're not going to scuff up the, the tip yeah. of them or the, you know, your knitting needles or the yeah. the hook on the end of your asking hook. You're right. not going to scuff it up. Down I there. love it. Yeah, that's but, a great you know, idea. I mean, that's that's something. If you if you can't afford to go buy something, you can go right. out and garage and maybe swipe something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, I, just, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. They're not so hard, so they won't bend. Mailing tubes are hard; they don't bend either. Yep, it's yep. a good idea. Yep. Yeah. And, yeah. And you 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 something that doesn't bend if you're going to take. Knitting yeah. needles, long knitting mm -hmm. needles, and ask right. hooks because yes. otherwise they're gonna get broken. Yes, right. Somebody's well, that, gonna inevitably sit on them or something and break. Right. Them. Well, that and the ends will get damaged. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I can't. I can't tell you the number of times I'd hear my grand really upset because it had landed on the floor or. You know, just got knocked up against something, and the end of her knitting needle was to her. Yes. It is ruined. Yes, ruined. Yep. Um, hello, Nana Kathleen and Carl Ann. Hey. Hey, Nana Kathleen and Carl Ann. And uh, I wanted to mention to you guys, uh, Coffee Angel Crafts that usually comes over. Uh huh. Um, she's just got over having surgery. So if you guys want to go over to her channel and maybe uh, make a video and say we're glad you're feeling better or yeah, good I'll get her. Or I'll get her link. Nice. Thank you very much for all. I'm gonna get her link while y'all are talking. Hang on. And thank you, uh, Connie, for mentioning that. I really yeah, do she, appreciate she just it. Had surgery, and then she's doing a lot better, <laughs> feeling a lot better, but it's still, you know, it doesn't hurt for. Somebody come over and say, "Hey, we we heard you had surgery. Glad you right. feel better." You know. Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. Link. I don't know right. how to do that, or I would I would have already done it. 
Oh no, it's not a problem. I got it right now. Hang on. Yeah. Mary uh, Kathleen uh, said you did teach me how to do that today. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Nana Kathleen well, says you know. that she keeps her long knitting needles in a dresser drawer. Mm -hmm. And Stephanie yep. says, I have floral floral foam. Wow, all you ladies are the best. Thank you so much. I have the clover Tunisian set, but I can't keep the yarn on the head of the hook. They are so slick. I like the cheaper ones better. Oh, okay. Well, I haven't even started mine yet, so using mine yet. So, One of you, Stephanie, you can try if the if you think the head of your hooks are slippery and it's a Tunisian set, you know, it's shape mm -hmm. on the hinges like a regular crochet hook. One thing that you might could try, put lotion on your hands. Yes. Just before it dries on your hands, not while it's wet, but just before it completely dries, get a hold of your hook and do mm -hmm. that. Yep. Right. You rub yep. your hooks with the lotion. Mm -hmm. Not not super wet, just no 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 just no. slightly damp and yes. then rub yeah. your hooks. let it dry. Let it dry completely, and then it'll it'll have just enough of film on it that it'll catch for you. Mm -hmm. Try that and see if that helps you. I've done that with a lot of new, brand new hooks because mm -hmm. they're they. I don't know if it's just they're too slippery or if they have some kind of of a film or something that's on them. Because after you use them a little while, they're not the same way. Right. I, you know, you mentioning that, I, I now remember, too, my grandma always her a paraffin wax in her notion bag mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that sometimes when her knitting needles would start to catch or do something with the, the mm -hmm. yarn, she'd pull that little piece out and she'd just rub it there on the end and then take her hands and roll it up and down like that. I so use that wax good. paper. I do that with wax paper. I will mm -hmm. rub it real good with wax paper. Yeah. Um, the other thing I do, I do not recommend this. I don't want people calling me because they ruin their, their, their hooks or needles. <laughs> I do not recommend this. Um, the buffer for your fingernails, not the file, the buffer. Yeah. The right. buffer. If the, the little too, pink part. <clears throat> if it is too slick, mm -hmm. I will take the buffer to it. Right. Do not take a file to your needles, yeah. to your needles or hooks. Mm. No, 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 no. But I've taken the buffer to it before to remove the finish. Yes, right. and you can use I, that buffer also on those bamboo Tunisian hooks instead of lotion, if you'd rather do that. I don't recommend buffer. it because if you ruin your hooks or needles, I'm not buying you no more. <laughs> the buffer is okay to use on it, not the nail file, like you said, no. not the rough she's one. Yeah. gonna replace it, not me. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not neither. Now, mm -mm. no way, uh -uh. yeah, it will not hurt nothing. It no, the lotion's not nothing. gonna hurt nothing. You can use lotion all you mm. want to. It's Froggy's idea down there, that, that's her idea for the, for the nail file. So, you hit her up if you run on. No, I said a buffer. I said the buffer for your fingernails. <laughs> I've done the Why buffer. Are you sitting over here saying nothing. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. I have used the buffer to remove the finish on wood needle, wood knitting right. needle, and uh -huh. it made a difference for me. But I needed something because I was working with a slick yarn, and I needed something to keep it from sliding off. Right. But now I've been knitting for years. I can use it. I don't mind the slick. It's yeah. okay. Right. Yeah. Sometimes it's just getting used to the hook or the needle. Sometimes right. it's just the product itself, mm -hmm. or sometimes it's just the yarn. You're, you're right. not going to get around it either way. And yeah. sometimes you just get used to it right. with practice, with time, and it doesn't bother you anymore. Right. Yeah. Sometimes, the lotion, it, sometimes you don't. The lotion trick works better, but if the lotion trick doesn't work, a nail buffer does work. But buffer, buffer, buffer. No file. No file. <laughs> no definite. Grit. Yeah, no grit. No grit. A, a, a file will actually destroy your needles completely. Oh yeah. So yeah. Yeah. I have taken a a uh, 
um, darning needle with the mm -hmm. big eye on the end and taking a, a wet rock yeah. to the end of it around and around and around and around and around and make it sharp. Have oh, yeah. Make it have a point on it so that I can go through material with mm -hmm. the, with the uh, yarn on, you know, three yeah. through the needle and I, I have it sharp so I can poke that initial hole to pull right. the yarn through the material to do like a blanket edge mm -hmm. on the material. I, I have done that before. That, that's a good, another good tip you can use if you don't have any money to go buy one of those wheels that you run right. down the edge of it that pokes holes for you. Yeah. yeah you can do that. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Um, if you're having to buy scissors repeatedly, um, yes. you can sharpen your scissors by cutting aluminum foil. Yep. Um, that's a really good tip. Um, these ones need to cut aluminum foil. They're bad. These aren't my yarn scissors. These are my opening boxes and mail scissors. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a pair of those. <laughs> you know, fist guards, you can have those sharpened with a knife sharpener. I mean, yes. that's great. My yeah. dad sharpens my yeah. sewing scissors because right. they are uh, uh, solid metal. The handle yes. and the in the blade and he sharpens them on his uh grinding wheel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Joey does sharp. mine. Yep. Where he I does his let anybody sharpen mine but my dad. Yeah. Nobody. I guess when he's gone I'll have to go to the tinfoil trick. That is a good yeah. idea, Sandra. That's a good idea. Well the tinfoil trick is just in a pinch when you're out. Yes. Mm -hmm. It will work for just a little bit. It won't it won't um sharpen them like brand new but no sharpen them better than what they were to begin god it's mm -hmm. in a pinch yeah 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 just for in a pinch candy it's not a permanent fix it, it's just if you're trying to cut the yarn and the yarn is bending yes you're, you're cutting the yarn it helps to pick up yarn not ribbon you're cutting the yarn and oh it's let's see if it'll do it and the yarn is bending Instead of cutting it, it's just kind of rubbing it. <laughs> rubbing it. Yeah. Yeah. That was bent, not with that cut, but you know, if the yarn is bending, yes. then cut the aluminum foil and it will cut the yarn. And it doesn't yeah. take very much. You can no. even use a leftover piece of tinfoil, like if you yeah. made a casserole or whatever, fold it so that the side, the, the, the side that was down toward your food when you yep. pick it up, fold it where the sides with the food is touching together. Right. And then just kind of keep folding it till you get a, a, a long, thin piece and just. Yeah. With your scissors all the way down. Yep. And that way you're not wasting anything. Right. Or you're going to throw that away anyway. You know? Right. Thank you, Sandra. Yes, yes, Stephanie. Um, I have one, and so does Maureen and Connie. Yes, I keep mine in the living room on my end table, so my husband would stop stealing my scissors to cut things. Now he doesn't know what that clever pendant's for, so I have no <laughs> worry. Cutting things with it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah, that's a good thing. Really is it keeps yep. the husband off the scissors. We're doing say. mosaic, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you yep. can you can put that stuff under a mattress, like Rita was talking about her mom's mm -hmm. sliding off. You put the, and it doesn't take much of it. You don't have no. to cut the whole complete uh, bottom of the mattress. It no, doesn't no, take no, it no. just small pieces, like one no, in each right. corner, one in each corner. And that mattress ain't gonna yep. go nowhere once you lay down on it. It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, yep. right. y'all are wonderful. Thank you guys. Yes. We need to start us a, a what what is that that lady used to be in the newspaper? Halloween's. Yes, yes, yes. We need to do us a Halloween's hints on here. There That's you go. Yes. Go yes, share that would be awesome. and mm -hmm. all that good stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> we need Stephanie? to have a Halloween's Friday or a Halloween's Monday or something. You'd be surprised what I fall asleep with. Oh. <laughs> and I don't mean that naughty. Yep. You don't fall asleep to us. You know you don't. I know. Well, I didn't sleep last night. Well, you still didn't fall asleep to this. Nope. Did you? She said I fall asleep with my, with her clover thing around her neck. 
Oh, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, yeah. I fall asleep with my glasses on. Mm -hmm. I'll fall asleep with the remote in my hand and drop it, and it scares the tar rivers out of me, you know? Yep. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All kinds of stuff. I'll All right, fall asleep. I'm do this. Before you wrap up, yeah. I'm going to do this. Yes. Look, 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 guys. Oh, have you got him finished? Yes, Lord yes. Loves Chris. You ready? He's going to come yes. swimming in. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I love him. I swim. I love it. I love it. Yes. That is amazing, Froggy. Oh yeah. my goodness. Hello, Nancy, sweetheart. Does Thank it really, really glow in the dark? Yes, this really glows in the dark. Ooh, cool. Oh, that's going to be so so full. Yes. So fun. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, it's Nancy, amazing. How you doing? I love, I love it. What have you got in the in the doohickey to make it stay up? Why? It had to be wired up. I was done this morning except for the wire. Ah. And I wired him up a little bit ago and he's wired. Hello, Don. How Hello. are you, sweetie? Thank you so much. Hey, Don. Let's see. Light off. Oh, look. It's We're almost gonna... like his little bulb came on. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. What? Is it glowing? Almost. You can yeah, tell that almost. it will. Hang on. It's got that 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 haze about it, you know. But we can still mm -hmm. see light from your computer, so is it glowing at all? It's it's getting close to it. Yeah. Yeah. You there can tell that it will. He's so cute. I trying. He's so cute. The little stripes around his butt glowing too. Yes. They do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. my guys of my glowfish. I'm guys my yes. glowfish. I love him. Yeah. <laughs> this is like this is actual glow in the dark yarn. Mm. And uh, he, I'd like, love to see that in the black dark as long as I'd mm -hmm. be holding it. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting for nighttime and I'm gonna go photograph him in the dark dark. Yes, yes. Oh please. That'd be very cool. He yes, is my buddy. will work if you don't have any type of wire. You know yeah. what else will work? Q tips. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep. A lot better than you think. If you've got something that's curved like that, mm -hmm. like, the, like the little dangly thing on Froggy's fish, yeah. if you put a Q-tip down here at the base, maybe maybe a couple, maybe three. Right. At the base of that. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised how much that makes that set up. You'd be right. surprised what you can use to stuff mm -hmm. in that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nancy, um, they all are fairly... Big. Good sized. Mm -hmm. um, I used an F hook and worsted weight yarn. Yes. yes. Um, in the book, I think she used DK or sport weight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It wouldn't so, be a whole lot of difference, though. I mean, no. Not, no. not like this big to this big yeah. difference. You know, yeah. it, it's not going to be that much difference. No, yeah. I wanted him to be that large. So. Right. Yeah. Yes. Well, I do I'm have. Good pipe cleaners but i chose the wire it's more sturdy mm -hmm. yes um and me whenever i make my amigurumis i don't care what they call for i just use four weight whether it's cotton or acrylic mm -hmm. and i use an f hook that's just because that's what my hands are comfortable with with yeah. using that smaller hook so it, it's yeah. a lot easier to go up and make amigurumi than it yes. is to try to use the little tiny small yarn and mm -hmm. and, yeah, and I just can't agree. do that anymore. That's well, a good tip if you're yeah. starting out. Mm -hmm. Go bigger with your yarn and hook, and it'll be easier for you to get used to. It That's is. Right. The smallest right. I've made is fingering weight. Yes. And I don't mm -hmm. mind doing that. Um, right. But had you started out, that would have absolutely turned you against it, I bet. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think so, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, bulky, bulky is fun. I do quite a few in bulky. Yes. I've done five weight and six weight. No, um, yeah, I don't you are, you are not weird, all. Stephanie. Not weird at all. You can no. make mm -mm. some of the cutest, I mean, yes. cutest little plushy. Oh, yes. Lemagaroomy with yes. burnet blanket yarn. Oh, yes. it just, 
it's, it's like great. a cloud, you know, once mm -hmm. you get done. It, it's, it, it's, it's cool. It really There's really nothing is. wrong with that. Um, some of my most beautiful ones are done with that. Mm -hmm. So don't ever be embarrassed by it. You're not. Or think it's a bad thing. No. You make the cutest little pillows with it. I was looking to see if I had my bunnies on here. I don't have my bunnies on here. I made bun old soul crochet. O-L-D-S-O-U-L -L crochet. Uses bulky yarn. Mm-hmm. And she is really good and pretty amazing. I made her bunny rabbits. Yes. And they are totes adorable. Yep. So don't think that you can't do bulky because bulky is No, great. yeah. I just prefer, you know, I don't work with bulky yarn anyway. I mean, yeah. it's not that I don't like it. I have used a, a few five weights, but <laughs> three and four is, is my comfort zone. That's, oh, yeah. you know, uh, but I've seen some gorgeous amigurumis made out of five and six. I mean, yes, they're oh, yeah. beautiful. You know, I'd make the best little teddy bears too. Oh like yeah. Stephen, uh, Nancy said she made <laughs> one for her husband. Mm -hmm. It makes the cutest teddy bears and bunny rabbits. Oh yes. Floppy stuff, you know, floppy mm -hmm. ear stuff for little kids to. Oh to yes. Drag around by the ear, you know. The oh, little yeah. hands can hold that bulky yarn mm -hmm. more easily yes yes there it yes angela she does yep. yes she does does amazing work absolutely miraculous <laughs> so i right. think it's fantastic i mean you yeah. can use mm -hmm. any weight you want it doesn't matter it, it doesn't and you can use any type as well the bunny rabbit that's over here mm -hmm. was made by right there? truly right down there and it was made with latte cakes Yes. So it's not like you can't use any kind. That's the Doesn't softest. Matter. I yes. mean, softest any rabbit I have ever hooked up on. It right. Is so sweet. Use mm -hmm. any any yarn, any type of yarn. It doesn't matter. I'm trying to think if I have one next to me and a weird yarn, but I don't. My grandson takes mm -hmm. my amigurumis. <laughs> oh, and and your amigurumis can be any size. Right. Yes. This is the six foot bat right there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right yep. Across there. There's your six foot bat. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's so a big <laughs> You can do them any way you want. Yep. Awesome, Nancy. See? Yep. Yes. She said I made a mini unicorn for a friend. It was only three inches tall. I love it those little good. bitty ones. I don't know how yeah. anybody does that. That is yeah. I love them. Me either. Me I'm in awe. Yeah, I can use the little bitty tiny thread to make dollies and all that, but amigurumis, no. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, some people do really good with thread and some people mm -hmm. don't. Yeah. And you know what? It's to whatever you choose to use. That's right. Yep. That's right. Because yep. you can do, do it in thread. I mean, mm -hmm. I know somebody that used um, embroidery thread to make Sophie's Universe. I know no, she's not she's, with it, but she is not ashamed of you. Absolutely not. She's she proud is of proud of you. Craft. <laughs> Don't even say she's not. ashamed. No, 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 uh -uh. no. Uh -uh. no. I don't. I can't do. I, in my opinion, I didn't do as good as my Oma, but I don't think oh, my not. my Oma is ashamed of me. Oh mm. shoot! No. no, no, no. There, she is not ashamed. Mm. -mm. I love the thread. The the little micro ones that they oh, do. Yeah. Just go, Amazing. Oh, my word. Yeah. Right. Amazing. I couldn't do that because I couldn't see it to do it. Well, the no, little bitty not. ones are just as cute as the great big ones. Oh, yes. yeah. They, they can have just as much detail, too. They oh, sure can. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. love them. I, the little ones, I've seen some that, that weren't no more than this big on like right. a keychain or something that looked real. I mean, right. real, real. And I'm mm -hmm. like, how do you do that? It blows your mind. I, know. I mean, I don't know how they get so much detail, so I'm tiny fine. of a detail on those things. It's right. It freaks mind. me out. Yeah. Yep. It's yep. 
strange sometimes because you think you almost had to put that on there with a the magic marker. There's no way I mean, you got a needle to make that eye, you know, that tiny or whatever. Mm -hmm. but no, it's 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 all. That's not I'm mean, grainy, but it might as well be. But this is yes, done in is. thread. Yeah. The eyes are yeah. stuffed on it, so it is. And it's got little legs. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, that's thread. How did you do that? Right. It was a, it was done for me. It was a gift for me, and I'm looking at this going, "How did you do that?" Their eyes are two different colors on purpose, mm. right? But isn't that crazy? Yeah. The things that people can accomplish. What you do is you find what you like to do, what you like to do, yes. and do that. Yeah. Become yeah. great yeah. at it. Yeah. You yeah. know, my mother I, and I do that. my sister and. A lot of my friends tried their best to talk me into putting stuff in consignment shops or uh -huh. or selling on Etsy or eBay or whatever. Right. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to do that. And they're like, why? Wow, you can make such money off of what you're doing. And da, 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 da. I say, yeah. Then it becomes a job. Then it becomes That's a job. right. And it becomes when you a get job. paid for what you're doing, it becomes a job. And I would yeah. not like it. No, nope. if I the was to do yep. it, something. sucks all the joy out of it. That's why it I don't sell my stuff right. anymore. If you're having fun gone. with it, yeah, it sucked so all the joy it. out of it. Now, there's nothing wrong with making stuff and selling. Oh, no, it. You know, we're not at all. That. No, it's no, 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 it's just us, not for me, not for right. Me. No, yeah. and I'm the same I make way. stuff and give it away. I don't, yeah. I don't sell. I don't want the headache, you know. Well, uh, I can't say that I wouldn't sell my stuff. I can't say that because if somebody offered the right price for something, I'd probably sell it. But I, I, I can do it for like auctions or benefits yeah. for somebody. That's what I'm. Like that's that. what I'm saying. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah than that, no. I had my Shaw auctioned off to yeah. benefit someone. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I can't say I wouldn't sell it anything because i would but it it's not going to be my yeah. job my yeah. job is youtube yeah right well yeah. i i don't have a job period i'm i'm permanently disabled but i love talking as you can tell mm -hmm. and i <laughs> love crocheting so if i can do both at the same time i am in hog if yes i will stay there <laughs> now i agree with nancy she says i do both i give away and if they are willing to pay the price, then it means they really want it. And that's exactly that's right. That's very Anthony. true. Very true. Don't sell that's yourself right. cheap. Mm -mm. And Never nobody nobody would would pay me what I want for my credit. Yeah. Right. Well, right. see, no, that's no, why no. I don't I don't they, want to say to you. Now, if you ask me to make it and you're willing, like Nancy said, to pay me for my time then I'll be happy to make it for you. But it's not something I do yeah. all the time. Yeah. No. The last time that I made something for my little sister, she was adamant on and on and on about, let me pay you, let me pay you. And I tell her, you don't have enough money to pay me. Yeah. And she's right. like, oh, no, no, let me pay you something. I'm, let me pay you what it's worth. It, you should be paid like it's a job. And I'm like, all right, okay. It costs this and this and this and this for materials only right. to make that. Okay? Sure, sure. That's a fair price. And I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. We have out discussed my time, my labor. Right. Not You haven't even put that in the equation yet. How long it right. took me to make that, the time yep. it took me, times minimum wage. Yeah, Just minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Then add that in with the project cost, and it costs too much. That's yeah. right. Yeah, people won't pay it. Mm -mm. No, no. And it's yeah. you know to me it's not worth haggling over what I'm selling it for or right. what they want to pay for it. Yeah, it's not worth hurting my feelings by not paying enough, and right. it's not worth hurting their feelings by charging too much. Right. right according to them it's not worth that i would rather give my stuff to somebody as right to rather than do that you know 
Yeah. If I'm giving something to you, I, I'm, you're letting me do a blessing. Yes. I get the good out of it. I, I'm yes. telling yes. the debt that I'm making you happy. Right. Okay? Oh, yeah. And if you want to return the blessing some, some way, somehow, someday, that's up to you. I'm not asking right. you to, but th nope. that's the way it should work. That's you know? right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Blessing each other. That that's mm -hmm. a blessing for me to make you happy. Which we do. Right. That's yep. what I love to do. I love it. Yep. Yeah, I don't mind sending my work to people. Mm -hmm. I, I love to do that. I, I get excited about it. Yep. I you get know? excited about getting money for mine too. Now don't get me wrong. Especially when they love wrong. it. Yep. You know, but you know, someone just offering me fifty bucks for my cracking, don't insult mm. me. I don't no. think so. Mm -mm. Don't insult me. No. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Come no. on now. I mean, it takes way too much time. To I got more. I'm a more, I got more yarn in that. Well, yeah. yeah, more than that. Yeah, that's not even counting your time. Yeah. Nope. Absolutely. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, I don't well, like. We, we have went plumb over, Maureen. I you know. Have. I was getting ready to say I appreciate all of you for staying. <laughs> Staying with us an extra nearly 30 minutes. I really, really do. Absolutely. But I'm Young sure there's other folks that you'd like to go watch. And see. So thank you again so much for being here. Those of you that have been lurking, all I yeah. ask is that you be sure and hit those thumbs up before you go. And yeah. those of you that are going to catch this afterwards, I appreciate the time and I appreciate you watching us after we're gone. Yes. So, and everybody, please choose kindness because it will change you and it will change the world that's yeah. right froggy stay safe and be kind to one another you know that's the best thing you can do that's right and be the light out there in the darkness for someone today because you never know could be your light that they need to see now before you skip out uh whoops where'd i go there we are Froggy made a new outro for me, and I really hope that you'll stay long enough to watch it. So it's here we go. Love you guys.